Everybody's favorite sad dads, Jim and Foo. Fuck. Fucking, it's fucking bullshit at my house. We can, yeah. It's fucking bullshit, man. Yeah. I, I believe you. It was tons of fuck. <laughs> tons of fuck. Tons of. You had a, like a week off, so you're all. Damn it, I'm working today. Did yeah. You, didn't you work today? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fuck it. Ready? Sad Are you ready? Oh. oh fucking. Welcome to the Sad Dads Club podcast episode. I'm the Lord Foo. It's episode 113. 113. I'm Which Jim. we just passed a Friday the 13th. Yes. I should have known this shit was coming. Oh, God. And yeah, you were on vacation for that. All week. <laughs> with no Xbox. <laughs> but I have my destiny. Still not here. Shut up. <laughs> mountain of aliens in the face yeah you, you were fairly quiet i was like is something wrong with him is he just busy at work and then i was like no he's off like yeah he's I, probably playing I, video games i was heads down yeah you know i was like taking my taking my time uh-huh uh over the weekend we, we did uh you know stuff outside yeah, yeah we'll, Lucky. We'll, i'll circle back to that <laughs> okay. but i as it got into the evening yesterday I think I had walked to the kitchen at some point. I think it was near dinner time, and I and I kind of looked at Venus, and I went, oh, "Fuck." Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. I did that Sunday. She's like, "What?" I'm like, uh, "Party's over." I she's, did that Sunday, man. She's like, "Yeah." I'm <clears> like, "Yeah." Work and anyway. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. Alarm went off this morning. I wore, I had set out jeans and. And a collared shirt, yeah. So like, get yourself back in. Get it. in the, get on it. Just treadmill. Just I am pro. I am ready to be <laughs> in the business. I'm professional today. God damn it! <laughs> I'm just. Even though you didn't need to, I absolutely not. Right. Uh, I'm ready to go. Hit all my marks this morning, and then uh, just started. <laughs> Did someone pull the e brake on the train? Oh fuck! <laughs> Did, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, it's been rough because with because it's been raining. Yeah. So Armageddon is already a piss because he doesn't want to go outside. So he fights fights us going outside on his like putty breaks. Yeah. Anyway, so he's been a piss. Venus left to go work at her dad's. Uh, Xander had just taken off for school. Uh, Piper was in classes, but before Venus had left, uh, she's having like a nagging knee thing. So she has this uh, icy hot medicine, you know, liquid Bengay bullshit. So and it's not like, it's going to rain tomorrow. You're like, how do you know? Because my fucking knee hurts. Right. Her, <laughs> yeah. She was, al- yeah, plus it was already. Anyway. So she comes in just before she left and she, where's your snake grabby thing? And I went, I, I threw it away because it, it had the handle on it was jamming uh-huh. and it wasn't really pulling. You know, it's one of those yeah. recess prong things for I like getting like a ring or yeah. something out of a bendy situation. Yeah. Like I had to throw it away because the handle broke and it, it wasn't, it was sticking, it wasn't working. You got to lube it up every once in a while. She's like, oh, uh, I, put, I dropped something and I, I needed to get it. And I went, okay. And right then, and then she tears off in the garage and I'm just starting into my emails and I realize, She's not going to find what she's looking for. No, this is not going <laughs> to go the way she thinks. And because she didn't fully debrief me on what was lost and where it was lost, I'm like, okay, here we go. Uh huh. And she's, so I walk in, she comes back in, she tears into the bathroom. So really what you're telling me right now is that your vacation has been extended slightly. No, <laughs> not even no. close. Okay. So I walk into the bathroom and she's trying to fish the cap of the medicine thing out of the sink with a series of tools that she was trying really hard. That were questionable. Yeah. Uh, And to make matters worse, the size of this cap is the right size. (laughs) Is absolutely, you could not CNC 
a cap or an object with smaller tolerances <laughs> on purpose on purpose it was so fucked like a mechanical engineer yeah, couldn't have done you, it better. you could not and for it to fall that far down the fucking sink was it was it top side up or the bottom side up was it, upside it didn't down? matter. It, it was like it was perfectly pinned in a way that you could spin it. <laughs> oh no! Inside the fucking, and you couldn't. You know, I I know how to get it out. You want to hear my solution? <laughs> uh, sure. You pour diet coke in there and oh, then some Mentos. <laughs> just let them go. or put Mentos and then diet coke yeah. in there and just let it foam right up. That would have done so it. So you couldn't grab it. You yeah. could spin it to grab it, but because it was such a goddamn precision fit uh-huh. you couldn't lift it because <laughs> the tolerances to get the tool around the cap or to it press wouldn't. out created too much it would lodge itself on a side it, there was no way uh-huh. there was no way it's like mike trying to pull out his new entertainment center uh-huh. it's done it's fucked it's there and the only way you can pull that thing out is if you were to entirely wreck it. <laughs> to remove the house. So I take a quick glance at it. I'm not upset. It's a situation of like circumstances that have all led to this. It's like, I can't blame her. It's yeah. not her fault. Uh, if I would had replaced the little drain cap that should have been on there, nothing would have fallen in there to begin with. So it's not her fault. It's, yeah. it's like one of those household things that you know you should replace. But you just never get to it. Yeah. So, so I was, walk- it, was it caught on something? Like, uh, you know how you have in the drain the little plunger? So, that- yeah, it only went down as far as the little trap lever that okay. goes in there to raise and lower the, the so actual So it didn't go seal. any further than didn't that. didn't go any further than that, and it wasn't going to go any further than that. Okay, that's Because that, that pole was still in there. Yeah. However, I could not lift it any higher because it was, it Caught would always down. catch on something and no tool... I could get in there and get around it. Get around it. So I went, I'm actually working today. <laughs> I can't deal with this now. So uh-huh. I went back to work. I'm like, well, I'll look at it later. She went, she left. She went to work. Yeah. So on my lunch break. Well, I mean, <laughs> for, to her credit, she tried, you went in there yeah. and saw all the stuff. Yeah. She, she tried. Was, she was trying. Yeah. So she, she didn't Without like, leave you. a bag of hot shit on the, on the, you know, and then ring the doorbell and be like, like "See you later. Good luck, fucker." Here's a here's a broken vent yeah. on your motorhome, yeah. and not telling you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's in her jeans, but she went the other way. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I got love. We might life. we might be getting in trouble. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> well, so, at, on my lunch break. Yeah. I all right. I need to take a break anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna go look. Well, at let me it. go frustrate myself. Yes, I'm gonna go frustrate myself. So I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, if I, if I can drill the cap and like drop a, like a piece of yarn through it and then like f- somehow fish it that back sounds, up through. That sounds magical. Right. I could then like yank it, maybe uh, perhaps some fishing line and yank it. I don't have uh-huh. any fishing line. I'm like, fuck. Okay. So there goes that. But when I drilled the cap, the bit had enough of a grip on it that I could like tug on it. Uh-huh. But that did not solve the problem where the tolerances, it, if the cap cockeyed any any sort of way it would bind itself against the side walls right it was and, and i didn't drill it dead nuts straight because i wasn't a fucking drill press so that didn't <laughs> happen and i'm like okay okay so i start taking apart the sink trap to like get at it from the bottom to see maybe if i could push Just the push cap it up. up yeah that's where i was headed uh so I've got the trap out, and there's, you know, ugly drippies that are That's starting so coming down the sink. S- smelly goodness. And Jax comes in. Oh, no. And he gets up onto the bed, and he's like, got his, like, I got a wild hair. And, like, he wants to play or something. <laughs> and I'm like, my hand's in a cerebral palsy fucking oh, claw no. thing. And I just, <clears throat> and so I come back out from under the sink, and I look at him, and then he gets back down off the bed really fast, and he comes jams into the bathroom really fast next to me and he sits down on his ass and i went can i help you okay (laughs) but right off the bat that like sends the he's got a fucking dangle or something and so as i like get up he gets up really fast and he's like he's (laughs) he's trying he's got the fucking ass scoot shit going on and i went he's god damn it (laughs) 
Not now. God, are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> Only one disaster and at I a time. And I can't. And Piper is like on a Zoom thing with her. So I can't fucking yell. yell. <laughs> and then he tears off outside of the, the bedroom yeah. and the f- bathroom. And I'm like, where are you going? Because I already know he's probably wiped shit all over the bed where he was. <laughs> he's like, you want to play? You know? And I'm like... Uh, <laughs> Let's Where, play Find the yeah, Skid Mark. Yeah, <laughs> fucking, are you serious right now? I got the sink is terrible art. God damn it. And I don't know where he was because I was under the sink before he came and wiped his shit ass all over the bed. Like, God damn it. I'm already worried about the little dog pissing everywhere. If he could talk, he might have been like, I'm out of toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Can I use your bed? Can I? Can you wipe this? God. So... Then I've like got, you know, I've been hunched over the sink, so I can't move very fast because I'm like all cramped up and shit. So I head out, of the office, <laughs> head out of the bedroom and he runs into the uh, kitchen, beats me past the kitchen. And as I go looking for uh, rubber gloves, latex gloves, because I know what's happening next, he then like, oh, he beats ass into the fucking living room and then jumped up onto the couch. Oh, and no. I'm like, what the f- fuck is happening right now <laughs> and i can't i go to put the goddamn latex glove on and i'm so pissed and moving fast that i rip the latex glove and so it's only covering my fingers and he's like sitting on the couch ass down because that's how we do it and i'm like oh oh god oh, shit. shit all over these blankets and yeah that's i get terrible. him to like bend over enough grab it. it's a Full length plus fucking paper towel. Oh geez. So now I'm now I'm pissed. Is it a bounty? I have. It's a quicker picker up. <laughs> Was it yeah. a Christmas one? Yeah. No. So now I'm now I'm pissed. Yeah. Because the sink's apart. The dog has left <laughs> the, uh, the shit thought of all ha- over paper. The fact that place. he's excited. He's running around with a paper <laughs> towel. Yeah. Coming out of his ass, and he's just all <laughs> right. So. Yeah, I remove the anomaly. The offending. Right. And then it's like, I've got, you know, I'm trying, because I've only got half a goddamn latex glove on, I'm like trying to not get the shit ticket all over myself. It's like, take it outside. I'm pissed. Now I'm upset because lately, like the cap that I have not replaced in the sink, you know, someone must have left a paper towel somewhere. Uh We know he eats paper towels and tissues and the, and the, uh, like the baby wipes that we use for most like dinner stuff. Or he, people haven't been putting the little, you know, the elastic latch on the trash can because apparently he's also like a little fucking raptor and he knows how to press the pedal to like sniff inside the trash can. Yeah. Or one of the kids left their trash can lids open. I don't know. I don't really care. But at that moment, I was pissed at like three plus things and I was having to work. <laughs> and it was my lunch. I was fucking done. I was so done. So did you get the sink fixed? No. <laughs> I had enough time to- after I got off work. I went to Lowe's and I got, uh, I got a new sink drain. Did you get it out though? Get the cap. No. Oh, it's still uh, in there? I, t- I took out the old drain and I fucking oh, threw you it took, away. Oh, you just took the whole drain out? Yeah, I took oh, the whole drain. I'll take, I'll replace, I'm replacing from the trap to the yeah. the actual sink drain. Yeah. I'll just replace it. Yeah. I could not, I'm like, I'm done. I'm not going to, why? The, uh, and plus, I mean, it was, you know, that sink is probably original. No. It's like the second. We, we or put so that years. one in after we bought the house. So it's, I mean, it's probably 15 mm. years ish old and so the cap that binds the p- under pipe to the top of the sink so that it you know doesn't come out that was so worn and when i had to put a wrench on it in order to twist it off mm. i mean i s- scored it all over, so it wasn't pretty anymore yeah. so i was gonna have to replace it either way even if I like cut the pipe open just to remove the cap to say, ha ha, I fucking did it. Mm-hmm. I was going to have to replace the drain anyway. It just seems like you could have from the trap side stuck something up there and pushed it out. It was, mm. I'll, I'll show it to you. It was, there it was like wedged in there. There's yeah, there's yeah. these little, um, 
like recessed holes almost to get at something from the side. Uh, what it is that is the, the drain that comes from the top of your sink that's the overflow drain runs into those holes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it had fallen below those. Mm-hmm. So they were in, catching in, in trying to get the cap past those, those recesses, it would edge itself into uh, either one of those sides. Yeah. And for $25, I, I just refused just to continue. to. <laughs> and plus, like I said, I had scratched it because it was so old, you know, like a, a garden hose and the, you know, the nozzles. Yeah. And like after a while, it gets calcified and whatnot, and it's just not worth it. Yeah. So I, you know, resigned myself. Like, I'm not fucking with it anymore. I'm just going to go buy a new part. Yeah. I get it. Fucking done. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I had... <clears throat> So I think, did we talk about this on the show with the rats? Yes. <clears throat> Only okay. on the barbecue. Okay. So we have caught four and trapped, not trapped, but. Clampied. Clampied four rats in the backyard. Okay. Mm-hmm. I had reset the traps. Also, I got smart. And you know, on barbecue, on a barbecue, there's those. Uh, rotisserie notcheries. inches. Yes, yes. For the rotisseries. I got, uh, I went to Lowe's and got um, washers and a couple of through bolts mm-hmm. and bolted those up so you can't, like a Jump critter in. can't get yeah. in there anymore. Right, I right. did that to mine and Chandler's grill is, that's back there too. Okay. So I did that and then set on one of the wings of my grill uh, trap and then I'd set the other trap um, down next to the uh, slider, but like off on the corner of the patio where like the dog can't get to it. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I know I knew I'd reset all the traps and put fresh cheese in them. And uh, so I, uh, the other morning, I let the dog out to go to the bathroom, and I'm standing out back with him, and uh, and I'm like looking, and I go, "Oh, that's weird. Why is there a rat trap over here next to the fence? That's really strange." And in my mind, it was still open. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that, did someone put a trap over here? Because it's like where like the dog could get to. Right. It kind of concerned me. Hey, fuckers. And the family chat, like, hey, did anybody move this? Because I know Chandler had had a friend over using the fire pit. And mm-hmm. like, did they move it? Did they right. hear something? Um, no, no, no one's, no one's moved anything. I'm like, oh, that's really strange. Mm-hmm. So I go, is that a new trap or is that one of mine so i walk back over to the patio and i see the trap is still on the wing of my grill Mm -hmm. and then i walk over to the one and the one's missing next to so i know the edge of the patio one yeah the one by the slider but off to the edge i know it's that one okay because it's not there anymore and i go huh um that's strange so this is over the course of a few hours i go back out there again after like asking people, hey, did you move the trap? No one knows anything about the trap being yeah. moved. Yeah. I go out there and I realize, oh, it snapped closed. And as I get closer, there's a little foot oh. <laughs> stuck in there. But the rat is no. Oh, no, <laughs> dude. <laughs> so we got a three legger out there somewhere. Somewhere there's a three legged rat running around. Holy shit. Yeah. So it was funny because I just like look and sure enough, there's a little foot in there. I'm like, oh, damn. That dude had a bad day. So he just got his foot stuck and like now he doesn't have one anymore. Because you hear about that, right? Like a rat will chew its own leg off to get out of it. Like you, th- yeah. it's not even an anecdote. You yeah. literally have that life experience <laughs> in mean, the real. He either chewed his own foot off, which. Okay, that's like goes to that saying, right? Sure. Or he yanked his own foot off because there was a foot in the thing and a little nub sticking out of the, the claws of the trap. No way. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I found out what happened. You know, we got a tripod. We got a three legger <laughs> running around a stumpy. So I thought that was pretty damn funny. Yeah. All right. Fuck he, you, rats. He's a pirate rat. Yeah. So now I got to get them cleaned up and reset them and put them back out again. Maybe I'll get another one. <clears throat> but it's amazing how many damn rats there are. Yeah. It's incredible. And they're like rabbits. They're prolific. Yeah, I know. That's mm-hmm. why New York City or, you know. How big, like how big were they? 
Oh, they're the pretty good size. You, okay, so you've got some big adults. tails. Yeah, yeah. Didn't I put a picture in our hangout? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know if all of them are that. They size. were all pretty much that size. Hmm. And it's weird because I seem to catch them in pairs, except this time. Well, I didn't really necessarily catch one this time. But normally, I'll catch two in one night. I'll set them back up, nothing for like several days, and then I'll catch two more. And then this time, I just got one with a foot. And he drugged the trap all the way from there, all the way back across the backyard to the other hmm. side of the backyard. Yeah. And then left his foot in it. <laughs> Good. That's nuts. Yeah, it's gross. It was like up the wall. There was like little. I wonder. I mean, I looked around. I didn't see anything obvious, like blood or anything like that, you know. Which reminds me, uh, when we were doing redoing our backyard in the summertime, we were prepping. Uh, we were putting in the patio and the fire pit. And then mm-hmm. we were <clears throat> trying to get the the dirt area reseeded or resodded. Mm-hmm. And part of the work that we were doing was that there was sod there prior. And so the sod always has that green the net. netting in it. Yeah. Uh, so one day I went to the backyard and I come around the corner and I hear s- this noise and I look over and there's a pigeon <laughs> on the, on the dirt in, back there. And I'm like, what the heck? Why is he? And he's just flopping around like crazy. And I'm like, what the heck is he doing? So I walk over and you know, as soon as he sees me, he's like struggling. Right, right, right. Well, I get over there to look and his foot is wound up in that green netting. Oh. And I'm like, I feel bad, right? That's. I mean, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah, pigeon shit and make all the jokes or whatever, but it's like, I don't want to kill an animal in my backyard because I've got this green netting. Right. So I like beat feet out to the garage to get some, uh, I don't even remember what I got, some kind of clipper Yeah. and came back and like, it's okay. And he like chilled and just kind of looked at me. It just gave me enough time to get it all clipped and you could see his, uh, his leg was bloody Yeah. and I got him clipped and I kind of backed off and he... Whew, he was gone. But right after that, I was telling Shanna, she, she, had, she was gone and she came home. We like co- completely cleaned the backyard of all that green netting, which I didn't even give any that, thoughts to. That shit is like the, it's awful. the bane of my existence. Like because when I was cleaning off the square over there, yeah, it's like once, once that stuff's dry, uh, you, you won't really know that it's there. It's when it gets wet and you start trying to remove the sod. Yeah. It, most of it will shave away, but if it, if it got through, if the sod actually grew into the, the base of whatever you were putting it on, yeah. it kind of takes the green, the netting with it. And so... But that stuff doesn't go away uh, right. anywhere. I had gotten what I thought was like below the sod and like shaved it off. So then I went in there with like one of the, like the little garden weasels. It's like the ninja star shurikens on a, on a, yeah. just, a, you just destroys dirt. Right. So you, I got it wet and like, you just start like ripping through it to like loosen up that top layer. Uh-huh. And if there is any of that green net, it's like, well, how about I just fuck your day? <laughs> <laughs> well, binds in the tines. Yeah. But, oh, Oh my God! I'll put a rototiller through it. Yeah, no. We, we rented a rototiller to rototill the backyard. Yeah. It was. <laughs> it took us a half an hour just to clean that shit out of the rototiller. Yeah, it's like the girl's hair in the vacuum. Oh yeah, like yeah. Well, we know this isn't my fault. Oh yeah, and I didn't do the netting either. <laughs> my, Fuck you guys. My daughter's hair. She likes to color it like red. So every time when I'm vacuuming, I'm like, this thing is not working very well. And I turn it over and it literally the roller is a, a wig of red hair. I'm like, how do you have any fucking hair in your head? Oh, yeah. This roller on the vacuum is completely cut. You can't even see the fucking the bristles. bristles. Yeah. You can't because yeah. the entire thing is covered in hair. How do you have any on your head? Yeah. I don't know. I, the, the, women and hair, hair deposits. It's, and, and it's she's boggles got long my mind. Hair. How do they not have little sprigs of hair? All, I don't get it. Does, By, you know, does it like fall out and go brrr, like out to the same and be the? I don't get it, man. I had a thing a couple of weeks ago uh, where I was in the bathroom uh-huh. having my morning morning dumpies. Your morning constitution. Yeah, and uh, Piper's in her thing. Xander's Xander was uh, at school, and I'm looking at the looking at my phone. Look at the back of the shower, look at my phone, I'm reading, da, 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 da. 
And I look back at the shower wall, uh-huh. and on the back of the shower wall is like a spiralized, not quite fully formed hair tantula. Uh-huh. But it was stuck to the back of the fucking shower wall. Uh-huh. And it wasn't like one or two, like a just chucked up there. It was like she was starting her hair tantula <laughs> and then just left it there. Uh huh. And it looked like it was like a fucking hair galaxy or something. <laughs> uh, and we were eating dinner the next the next night or later on that it's day. A captcha. And and I said, "What what is going on in the back of the shower wall? Like you didn't even, a you need to remove your hair tantula. Yeah. B like why is it on the back wall? <laughs> uh, she said Xander <laughs> Xander does something to it too." Like, like he plays with it like it's fucking art or something. Like he'll like make a design or shape out of it, and then when he's he fucking leaves it. Like it's a chalkboard. What, yeah. What but the with f- hair? What the fuck is going on? Like what is this? We had a uh, uh, that was last week. I was shaving my head, uh-huh. uh, and when it gets longer, <laughs> longish. Oh, this is a thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, fucking Big problem. Yeah, ball jokes. All right, here we go, fucker. <laughs> All right, Fatty. Here we are. Oh God, straight to it. <laughs> Let's do it. So sometimes if if I don't like shake it out, uh-huh. you know, I get like a bunch of stubble in the razor. And sometimes if you know I shake it in the right way and I get a light from Mars or something and swamp gas, <laughs> rarely does it happen. But on this occasion, last week, at some point. I had flipped like a small bunch of stubble onto the shower door. Uh-huh. Didn't see it. Uh-huh. So Venus and I are in the shower, and she like looks what over. What are you guys doing in the shower together? Adult things. Oh boy. Yeah. The rhinoceros <laughs> attacks. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> 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 you lost. Damn it. God damn it. He's fucked. <laughs> she like looks over and she's like, what the fuck is this? And I went, what? <laughs> I'm like, bend over. I'll show you what it is. <laughs> it's a rhinoceros. It's a rhinoceros. Of course. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> she like points at the shower door. <laughs> And I'm like, well, that's the reflection of a rhinoceros. What do you mean? Uh, oh, my kids are so scarred. <laughs> and it was just a pile of whiskers. And she, she's like, you left a hair tantula. And I went, I, no, listen, <laughs> listen, hold on, fucking, now. hold on now. We're starting to get, no. I'm not shaving my ass. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Um, no. <laughs> I'm like, that's a. That's like a whisker skeeto or something like that. <laughs> whisker ske- it's just kind of annoying. It's just small. <laughs> it was very small. It was like goddamn hair. You know, hair tantalas are huge masses that can fucking kill you. Yeah. Scare the shit out. That's like a whisker skeeto. Yeah. It's just tiny. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we had both been wearing socks, I think it was the next day. But she had been ripping me over it like, oh, you fucking do it too. <laughs> So, uh, I guess there's a new we're, t-shirt. We're in, the, we're in the shower for another National Geographic episode, <laughs> and she had been wearing black socks. And like I, I looked down at the bottom of the, the tub in the I, shower. I, yeah, <laughs> she's wearing. She socks? had been wearing black oh, socks, okay. and and I like looking down. as like things the uh, black lint starts getting closer to the the drain, and I'm like, were you wearing black socks? And she's like. Those are your whisker mosquitoes. And I went, I haven't even fucking shaved my head. Those are your hair tantalus. Those are totally your hair tantalus. Like, bitch. <laughs> Listen. That's the lint from your socks. <laughs> like, just look. I'm going to reach down and see. It's the lint from your. She's like, oh. Oh, like, okay. I, I haven't even started shaving yet. It's not my whisker mosquitoes. They're your hair tantalus. Whisker mosquito. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Well, if you ever in our shower, we we don't have a tub. We have a shower shower stall in our bathroom. Oh, and yeah. So I always look down and at the drain, like it's a drain, like circle drain. It's got a bunch of holes in it, and I go, oh, there's a bunch of hair there. I don't want that going down the drain. Right. And then so I take my toe and I'll like run it over and like 
pull it away from the drain so it's out of the way. What's scary about that is many times it's like the pot of baby hair tantalas are down in the drain and oh God, I drag them up. You want to pull with, that shit up out of there? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I do. I don't want that in the drain. You need one That's of those a dream little, nightmare. We have those like little silicone plastic like hair trap covers that go over the drain. Yeah. On like a big circle drain with holes in it? Yeah. That'll work on that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It just kind of rests over the drain itself oh. and it catches hair but lets everything Well, up. the drain does a pretty good job of catching the hair, but some apparently I'm not the, I'm the only one that like pulls it away from the drain. So there's some, no. you know what I yeah. mean? But yeah, it's like a pot of baby hair tantalus come up with it. It's like, oh, fuck, it's breeding down yeah. there. Yeah. I'm surprised. Like, we've lived there 20 something, four or five years, something like that. Yeah. And uh, I'm always surprised that drain hasn't backed up. Watch, it'll happen now because I've said it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you know, I'll have to snake it or something. Back to work, so fucking. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why would it not? Yeah. Well, what else do you have to do? Might as well fix that. I mean, the my daughter when she was here uh, before she went back down to her apartment broke the screen door, and so now it doesn't run right. I've tried to fix it like three or four times. It's fucking, I get she probably hardware. No, she just like pulled on it wrong and popped it off, and it's been that happens on occasion. Oh, yeah. and I've Come always been able track. to fix it, yeah. but for some reason it won't like it height adjust to so that it won't scrape across the bottom. No. So it doesn't seem, I, something's broken. So I'm going to have to take the damn screen door off and figure that out. Yeah. Parts. I don't know. Did you clean your gutters this weekend? No. You have a tree. I Tell me about it. So, because so, we made, this is why I'm telling a story, because we made joke, Mike made a joke. Oh, yeah. Because we started to get rain Tuesday and a little bit this morning, I think. But it came in late Monday. Anyway. Yeah. But I knew it was going to rain. So over the weekend, I spent pretty much the bulk of Saturday up on the roof. My intent was to clean the gutters, but I spent time in like all of the the valleys. Because mm-hmm. in hindsight, I'd realized it wasn't until I was up there that uh, that all of the ash from the fires the last certainly this last summer because it seemed to be oddly heavy compared to previous years, even, yeah. even the paradise one. Uh, I'm like, ah, I'm going to spend a lot of time up here that even though the neighbor also has cut down one or two and tr- limbed a couple of her trees, there was a lot, a lot more work up in the valleys to make sure that they were clean. It was an all day. It was an all day thing. Yeah. Uh, so I got the, the gutters cleaned out. Uh, spent a bunch of time on some of the exhaust vents, like the the rubber, which had, to my knowledge, had never been replaced on the original part of the house, were clearly dry rotted mm-hmm. and had like cracked and come apart on some of them pretty significantly around the actual pipe to where it met the flashing. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure that was probably leaking. Uh, you know, I don't think I paid attention to it last year. So I would at least account for two years of, uh uh-oh. So I sealed all of those up with a lot of the butyl tape, sealing tape that left over from the RV vents. Yeah. Uh, So I got those, most of those sealed up. And then I spent a bunch of time on the, this valley that's right here on the front of the house. It it had been a problem, uh, well, before we had our addition. So this goes back probably 10 plus years where some of the water, the valley, because of the trees and it's being on the shade side of the sun's arc, a lot of moss mm-hmm. grows on this side of the roof. Yeah. Uh, so debris tends to fill in the one valley and create obstructions where the water comes out of the valleys and then comes down the side. We had a, It fixed once, but it's something I like, keep my eye on just to make sure. Yeah. Uh, I had put some good time into cleaning that at the second half of the day on Saturday, but I was just like, I'm not sure, because it still felt when I was giving it the business with the hose that I wasn't getting 100% runoffs down the, the flashing. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't yeah. know about mm-hmm. this. Uh, so I had 
Uh, I also noticed that like the tiles come together way too tight instead of like letting water sheet off into the flashing. Like some of the tiles as it comes together in points in the valley, they actually touch. Mm-hmm. Like I think they're supposed to be like a a defined uh, it, right, channel, a, a space yeah. where it falls off into the flashing, not possibly f- you know coming at sideways from a tile across tiles. Like, all right, well, I'm going to keep an eye on it, and then we'll see. And I think Monday Mike made his, or was it Tuesday? I think he made his comment about the joke about this is a hell of a day to be up on a roof. Yeah. And then it had to have been Tuesday because it, it, it was raining. Uh, and I went, ha ha, I did that work yesterday yeah. or over the weekend. I'm, I don't have to. Uh, and just when the rain really started, I could hear the water was kind of coming off right over the, one of my office windows. Uh, and by now I know when it's, it's either there's an obstruction in the gutter or it's sheeting off in a wrong place. And so it just creates like an instant, uh oh, something's not right mm-hmm. vibe. And so I get outside and I look and sure enough, there's got to be another debris dam or something that I had missed. And so it's coming off sideways. Like, all right, got to get back up on the roof. And I sent it a, a thing. I'm like, fuck, well, I guess that wrong. Ha ha. Back up on the roof. I go. Yeah. So I had taken like a coat hanger and I had kind of gotten in the valley again to like really make sure. And some more shit fell out. I'm like, I don't think this is still, this is still like a placeholder until the weather clears. I'll, I'll be up there over the weekend to yeah. probably trim some tiles. So that way I can get a clear shot at cleaning the valley. Mm-hmm. So this is your reminder. No, um, clean your valleys, <clears throat> get up on your roof, check your gutters, because especially after this storm in this area, I'm sure my gutters actually probably are back filled again with leaves because we also lost most of the trees that hadn't lost their leaves yet, now lost even more leaves. <clears throat> so check your gutters. Fucking just, tree in my backyard. Just walk <clears throat> gingerly, yeah. flat footed the best you can on your tiles. Pay attention to where you're going. Take a nine iron up with you. That helps you clean out your gutters. You can move the face around. Yeah. I usually do it from a ladder, but especially on that backside. Well, it's a good time to check your vent seals. Check those seals because I wouldn't have known otherwise. Yeah. You know, the seals are like if you're going to get a sheeting from higher up into the roof to your dryer vent that has no seal around the, you know, the the dryer is probably your bathroom vents yeah. through your, your sinks and your toilets and your showers that vent up. If they've got no, you're going to get drainage into an unsealed hole yeah. coming right down into your framing. Yeah. You know, bad. Yeah. You know, when the house was new, we had this big storm and uh, we actually had a leak in the, in the roof and it kind of came down and like soaked a piece of tape in our family room. Yeah. And we complained to the builder and they wouldn't do anything about it. So I ended up having to go, um, actually before when it, when we found that there was water up there, I got up in the attic and <clears throat> saw where the leak was coming down and just put a bucket up there just to catch any water. It wasn't dripping hard, but it was enough water that because of the way it was raining it was like sideways rain. Mm-hmm. Um, that I put a bucket to catch any extra water. And then now the tape, it like swelled up a little bit. So if you look at the ceiling just right, you can see that one tape line. Oh, really? has a little little curve to it that kind of comes down. Yeah. Yeah. It always catches me off guard too because I look at it and go, oh, damn. Oh, that's right. You know, it's oh, one yeah. of those. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got that one fake. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know. I think it's good at least uh, inspect from a ladder to check your gutters. You don't have yeah. to be a, you know, I'm not a roof specialist, but I did like we've talked about in the past. But you like, stayed at a Holiday Inn Express? I, I spent a couple, uh, you know, a good hour or so on YouTube, like, you know, tile variances in your valley with like you know, standard practice kind of thing. Uh, so when I was at Lowe's buying uh, the the sink, the drain replacement, I bought a couple, you know, uh, angle grinder a diamond disc so that I can trim up and get a better variance there gap yeah. into the valley, yeah. which will allow me at least to, to get in underneath some of the tiles and, and make sure that they're clean. Cause you know, if that's a leaking spot and I can get up here and check too, 
and look over the garage, but you know, that leaks into the office and that would be bad yeah. if it leaked, yeah. but it hasn't. But you know, I don't want to have to pay for a, another fucking roof job either. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I got to get up there from the front of the house. You can see the, the one valley that we have just covered in leaves from that stupid tree in the backyard. No. Oh. Um, and then that thing just dumps in the, uh, pool, uh, fire pit. N- Is it a prison? <laughs> no, it dumps in the gutter that it hangs over just like crazy. So it's like, I'm oh, always yeah. reluctant to like, go clean it out because it's just going to fill up again right. until the tree's not doesn't have any leaves on well, it. Well, I see, right, and the byproduct of this, too, is that uh, at least two of my neighbors, uh, and we have this on my house, too, so I'm not uh, not speaking from lack of experience. If you don't clean them and we get some of the huge deluges that we have yeah. and your gutters are full, that's enough water weight where it'll pull the, the sheet metal screws up off of the edging and, yeah. you know, your gutter will start to bow. Yeah. So you want to, obviously no one wants a gutter full of water, A, to fall, yeah. but B, the sharp metal. So if you're working up there and you're trying to fix something or clean a gutter and it falls on you, you could cut yourself pretty badly. So, you know, sheet, many, sheet metal's uh, bad. Many a times I have uh, gone, gotten the ladder out. Oh, shit, it's, you know, it's... Uh, <laughs> raining off the front of the gutters. Yeah. Like it's filled up and then pouring over the front and then I get up and scoop out shit so that it, yeah. you know. So, I, you know, I've run over during on a rain. couple occasions to like the neighbors and like quickly chuck the, my nine, my kids nine iron up in there to like loosen. Yeah. And stuff because there, there's bows. I think the one lady over here, it, you know. Yeah. Ah, uh, crap. I it's get too to much go, water. Yeah, it's too much. And I don't think I've ever seen either of them clean their gutters. I saw her cleaning, pushing her tree leaves up into like her, what would be my pond space, and like her uh, place. I'm like, you got a green waste can? Like, what? Are you? Yeah. And, uh, and now it just rained and her lawn is completely covered with leaves again. I'm like, that's okay. Uh, one time I was cleaning the gutter in the back and, uh, I got up there to clean it, and there was standing water in the thing, so it wasn't draining. So I'm like, oh, this is not good. So I scoop out all the leaves, and it's still wet. I'm like, what is happening here? And uh, no water's coming out the downspout at all. Oh. And I'm like, what? And, like, I'm feeling around. There's nothing obstructing the drain to the downspout. Right. I'm like, what is happening? So I figured out, oh, there's got to be something stuck in the downspout. Right. So I get the hose, and I start feeding the hose up from the bottom while it's turned on. (laughs) And I just let it run a little bit and get everything wet, and hopefully that'll lube it up enough that whatever it is will come out. Right. I pull the hose out, and I start to hear, and it shot a brown square turd out of the thing. that I'm not kidding. It was like this long, a piece of mud. Wow. That literally shot out with all the water pressure that was still up in the thing. Right. Shot out of there and landed like a, probably two feet away from the downspout in the rocks. And I was like, oh, shit. It was like, wow. A, yeah, it was crazy. And then it all drained out. <laughs> it was crazy. Wow. I'd never seen that before. So, yeah, that's funny. And I've had another, we had another downspout under the tree. That got stuck last year, and we had a bunch of rain, and I had cleaned the gutters out, so I was like, "Why is this? You know, yeah, yeah. why is this doing that?" And so I did this; had to do the same thing, like run the the uh, hose up in the pouring. I'm outside in the pouring rain. Yeah, that's running usually a, how it works. Yeah, running the hose up the downspout in order to get it to unclog, so that it, the the thing would stop raining over the front of the gutter. Hmm. Um, but yeah, that's what ends up happening. Is I see it dumping water like near the kitchen you know it's like oh damn and then i open up the garage and grab the ladder run out real quick and scoop all the stuff away from the downspout and then you know and then it's like fine turbo jet yeah so that's the what ends up happening to me yeah but it's just it's a good weekend I, it's, it's supposed dirty. to rain this weekend uh i don't think so yeah is it i don't know i, I think we get a break this weekend um, I think I thought it was supposed to rain at the end of the week. Check your fences. Oh, check my, check your roof. At least get up are... there with like a blower. You can, you know that's almost like the quickie way. Just get like the the easy stuff. Just 
Well, when it, uh, mine gets so full of leaves that it's there's no, and especially if it's full of leaves and then it rains, then you're just fucked. Um, it's just a filthy prospect of like scooping out wet piles of wet. It's gross. Like our our that tree in well, the I back mean, is valley, but yeah. Oh, the valley is easy gutters, enough. Too. Yeah, the gutters are just a horrendous nightmare. nightmare. Have yeah. you thought about getting those little lip cover things that? Prevent the leaves from falling in. I have some in the front. Do you? Um, Do but the leaves that are coming off the back tree are tiny. They're not very big leaves, so yeah. I think they'll just go right through. Are those. they like spindly ones that are like a? a no, they're snap sort of pee? like they're sort of shaped like that. Like an oak leaf, then. Kind of, but they're they're maybe like teardrop, teardrop. Yeah, kind of like that big, maybe. Okay. And they'll just fit right through the holes for the covers that I have. Oh. Um, and then that tree, like right now, for instance, it drops millions of these little tiny things that like flutter down there. They're like this big Mm -hmm. and they have like a, almost like a seed in the center Mm -hmm. and it just drops millions of these things everywhere. They're everywhere. There are so many, they end up in the front yard. Little beads? So like a bead? They're like flat with like a wing. They're they're circular. Mm-hmm. It's like a flat disc with like a little mound in the center. Okay. Of like the seed stuff. Yeah. And they just like float down, and there's just millions of them. I mean, mm-hmm. I'll sweep one day, out back, um, and then go out the next day, and it's just covered with them again. And they'll end up in the front. They're in the gutters. They're all over the roof. They're in my neighbor's yard. They're everywhere. They're voting in Wayne County, <sighs> like illegals. Yeah, oh, they are. <laughs> Absolutely. Fucking seeds. That's where they're getting all the votes. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. I don't I don't like it. I don't like it, man. But, I, you know, cleaning the gutters is just like, and I don't mind doing it, but it's just like you got to be prepared to, like, get dirty. Yeah. Because that's just what it is. Yeah. You know? And I just don't, some, you know, or if it's cold, uh, uh, I don't want to go do it right now. I, you know, that's why I did it over the weekend because yeah. I'm like, uh, you know, plenty of times I have been that guy yeah. in the downpour and the gutters yeah. are backed up. It's like, uh, I can at least, I, I accept it. Yeah. I accept it. Yeah. But I can at least speed up the time or lessen the time in which I'm in the downpour. Uh huh. In trying to like, oh yeah, well it's not so bad because yeah. I did some work, I, you know, to clean it out a little bit. There's always leaves that are going to fall in a storm. Yeah. Especially, you know, around here, there's leaves everywhere of all seasons at any point in time, always roughing, it seems like. True. Yes. Um, well, the other part of it is too, is the, uh, the gutters that are across the back of the house are really high. Uh, the house has 10 foot ceilings everywhere. so. Yeah the it's just kind of tall mm-hmm. and the gutters that are back there are probably oh i don't know maybe 10 or 12 feet tall mm-hmm. yeah you got to um, be up there on a ladder then. so yeah you're up there on a ladder mm. you know up against the gutter and it's a little bit on the sketchy side sometimes and especially if it's raining and you're holding a fucking <laughs> hose that's running water oh, yeah. on a ladder. It's yeah. smart. I mean, but you know, it's one of those things, it's all preventative stuff if you do it. Yeah. I mean, I do it, it's just like I haven't done it yet. It's not like I'm immune to like, oh, I never clean my gutters. Because I see people that don't clean their gutters and they got shit growing out of them and you're yeah. like, what is happening? If you can get a flu shot, you can clean your gutters. I did get a flu shot. That's what I'm saying. So no, now, I, now all you have to do is clean your gutters I'm not. I'm, you'll be good to go. I think you're mis interpreting what I'm saying. Absolutely not. Yeah, you are. No. Because I clean my gutters. I just haven't done it yet. Uh Uh-oh. Rhinoceros attack. (laughs) (laughs) Toro. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, sometimes it's like, I haven't had a weekend where I haven't done much in a while, and so this weekend was one of those weekends. Yeah. You know. And then we got, like, Thanksgiving coming up, so next week i'll be hanging christmas lights after thanksgiving no that's a disaster time to do it right over here oh yeah you oh look at you with the rolls of shit so here's here's how this happened so sunday yeah it was let's go let's go get the full measurements lengths 
of Christmas lights because last year I had measured everything to prevent the hodgepodge and never ending sad dad life of tack on. Oh, I'm missing this segment. I'll go buy one. Uh-huh. That's off white. That's cool, bright. Those don't match, bro. These are flashing colored yes. ones. These ones. Oh, look. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. It's just like candy corn or fruit cake. They're bad. They just look like they're whites. You just get white they ones. Are. Yeah. Oh, okay. White icicle. Okay. We we agreed white icicle. So we had my le- our lengths needed, and what we were looking for were the cool, not warm, icicles. Yeah. We really just wanted icicle. So, Sunday, take a break from shooting aliens in the face. <laughs> we go over to Walmart. Yeah. To get, and no. Picked over. Oh, already. Plenty of incandescent bulbs, uh-huh. bicycles, but also warm white. Yeah. Uh-huh. And no LED icicles of any form or fashion. Really? Like, well, I'm not buying bulb bulbs. I'm not doing it. Plus, I didn't want warm anyway. You're not going to run incandescent C9s? No. I no, am. but I did look hard at LED C9s Yeah. just, just to see. Uh-huh. Uh, but I, they, they didn't have any displays with those lit up, so I'm like, I'm, I'm not. They're disappointing. I'm not first worlding it enough to like see. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm fine. So then we had made a joke to each other as we were like, somewhat left disappointed from Walmart. Like, you know, all those jokes we made in September about how ridiculous it is to be looking at you know walking into a Lowe's or Home Depot and they've got all of the Christmas shit and Halloween and Thanksgiving hasn't even happened. Yeah, remember that part where we made fun of that, we probably should have bought the lights then. You know where you can have good luck and get them is at Ace over on Harding. Is it? They typically have a very good selection and um, don't run out super fast. No. But they they end up running out. Yeah, so we we made jokes on our own behalf about how we made fun of it and then we realized we kind of fucked ourselves and we probably, that should have been the time in which we bought. Yeah. Uh, when she was in, Venus was in Folsom today, her, her dad said, and where she had used an example, she's, she'd been to the Folsom Walmart, and they had a huge, much more bigger than ours selection of lights. And so I said, well, you know, if you can see, if they have what we want, you know, buy, buy those there. She yeah. had checked with her dad, and her dad's like, yeah, they've got tons of shit here. So. She came home with icicles. So I will be up on the roof probably fixing the valley, and I will be fucking hanging Christmas lights anyway mm-hmm. before Thanksgiving because I'm, I think I work Thanksgiving week anyway. I didn't take my PTO there. So I think we've got work stuff that weekend. So it's like, well, I probably won't have stuff. Actually, I work this weekend too, probably Sunday. I hope it's not raining because I'm running out. To. I'm running out of time to hang shit on the weekends anyway. Yeah, I think my my time is going to be <laughs> my time is coming. I think for the lights, yeah. like I I really want a good set of LED C nines that look good and are bright enough. I would be more than happy to put those out. Uh, I just haven't found those yet. But the problem is, is that every year you have some number of lights that were working when you took them off and you put them away for the season. And Mm -hmm. then when you put them back up, you've got fucking 12 bulbs that you've got to replace for some reason. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a matter of fiddling with them. I I don't think I had ever had, I'd never run into that one myself. I have, because I've been using the same strings of lights. Oh, bulb, but bulbs, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. When, but I mean, I've been using the same strings of lights. I literally know them intimately, like where they go. Yeah. Just by the curl of the wire, like, oh, that one goes over there and that one goes over there. Um, But the problem is, is because they're incandescent bulbs, being able to get the bulbs is going to become harder and harder. Right. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know? yeah. And so what I end up doing is I go to Ace, because they always have a very good selection, I end up buying a box, about one box per season. That's your of spares? Yeah, of spare bulbs. Yeah. And then I'm going to go there one year, and they're going to be like, yeah, we can't get those anymore. We don't carry those anymore, or whatever the, ex- the reason is. Boomer. And then I'm going to be fucked 
because what's now, a filament, boomer? Yeah, now Fuck you. Yeah, except they're all old codgers at the old Ace Hardware yeah. over there. They don't sell them here either. Yeah. What? Right. Yeah. Uh. And I'm going to be, my hand is going to be forced to buying some kind of C9. Alternative. Alternative that probably isn't as gr- good looking. You know, uh, in hanging my light, see, you know you're exactly, you can identify. See, I had always struggled with when I was hanging light, like, is this, the, is this the, that end or is this this end? I think probably three or four years ago, I got smart and I started tying a small ribbon uh-huh. to the corners, like where, where something would make like a, a roof line corner or an apex of a roof line. Yeah. I would tie like a small ribbon uh-huh. and I would walk back the segment from there. So I'd be like, oh, well, this, this one goes right here. And I wrote uh, like roof peak, uh-huh. a garage. And then oh, you know, smart. that yeah. way I would know this, this bend between these two lights right here, this goes on this hook mm-hmm. and then I could just walk it back. Yeah. But I had struck and I, you know, made it even easier because I just started marking each corner bend angle of the entire wall. <laughs> but, uh, I had struggled for years yeah. with the exact problem of like, is this, I probably, it's like my chili. I probably hung those fucking lights a different for consecutive year. years yeah. because I'm like, I don't know. I'm off by four. Like I thought, why this, is this one? This, what? I'm always sure this. Like, how's this? Yeah. Fuck it. I'm going to go, I'll just go buy another segment of lights. Uh Oh, that's warm light. Not cool. Bright. Oh, Fuck. Yeah. And that, you know, yeah, but I had gotten my hanging part down to a system. It was just that it looked white trash janky <laughs> because it was, it was like a, you know, quilted blanket of different manufacturers and yeah. and a varying seasoned acrylic glass that was hazing like a fucking Honda headlight. Oh God. <laughs> um yeah, no, I know. Like every strand that comes out of the box, I know basically where it goes. Yeah. Uh oh that, that That's one a good goes system. Across, yeah, that goes across that section. This one goes here, this one goes around the garage. You know, that one goes up over the peak. I know. And I know exactly where the plugs need to be. Chandler will hang them and they'll be backwards. And I'm like, dude. Oh, hell no. Yeah, dude. You, now you got to, you're just fucking yourself. <laughs> and, Guess what you're doing yeah, tomorrow, boy. You got to, no, it's, it has to be done that day. Oh, yeah. But the nice part is, is because I know where they all go, they, it goes up relatively quick. It's just a matter of a couple of hours. And oh, yeah. I up. mean, the length of time it took me to hang the lights once I knew where what went. Yeah. Oh, it's significantly quicker. Yeah. It's just. They looked ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm being honest. And time on the ladder. I just, uh, yeah, because my driveway is all peaked. I mean, oh, it, yeah. it gets sketchy as fuck. Well, we got that that peak right in the front. Right, right. And up. you have a hedge right there, too. I yeah. That's... So you got, and, and to get on the roof is right there at the peak. So it's like we, we're putting a ladder in the bushes to yeah. get up so that we can get on. There's a so little, you, little piece. Do you of have a there. pick, like a ex- picker? No. We, so what I did is no. I had an old broom, uh, like, you know, God, 12 bucks or under type of broom with like a, with, it has a little plastic loop on the end uh-huh. with a hole to yeah. hang it on something. And you, usually it has like a swivel, uh, but the older ones were just like a hook to hang it on something. I cut the, so it was just a hook. Uh-huh. And then I used that to like put it up like a pole extension to put that lights to like loop it on oh. the other things. So I, you can rest the strand in the cut and then I can't utilize that. Why? Because in the peak, it's a four by or six by four, two or whatever. Mm-hmm. Right. That's what is right. Facing. Yeah. And the clips that I use to hold the, lights to the house are okay. like this U clip and they just fit around it. So you actually have to go up with the lights and the, and a bag of those clips and like, put them Oh, on. well, yeah. way to go. Fancy pants. Yeah. And then the, uh, the, all the stuff that, that sits in the gutters, it's a gutter hook that like hangs on the gutter that holds every bulb has a holder. Yeah. 
So where I've got, so where I have in the front of the house where I have those gutter guards Mm -hmm. that keep debris out of the gutter, which don't completely work, um, those cover the gutter, which is a pain. Uh, So I actually one year had, I go, oh shit, I got these gutter guards. I'm going to hang my Christmas lights there. So I put a light in and got the clip and put it down and put a little line where the where the clip would go into the gutter, where mm-hmm. the guard covers it. Yeah. Put a line there, and I got my Dremel and, like, Dremeled it out, and then then the hook would go in it. So oh. I had to dr- Dremel out every hook that holds every bulb a spot where it could go through the gutter guard across that front part. When we got new, <laughs> when we got new gutters when we did the house, uh-huh. all of the eye hooks, the, or eye hook, all of the hooks that we had used previously were now hidden by the new massive gutters. Uh-huh. Uh, I bought magnetic hook to so the lights hang from the gutter itself uh-huh. because think, and now I can move them. <laughs> well, here's one of the things, right? C nines versus like mini lights are mini lights are probably easy to hang, but the C nines there i have a specific way i want them to look they only need to fit tight right against the well they need to be stretched tight so that every bulb is so it's not like yeah, like looped you don't want it to sag yeah and then the other part of it is is that these clips go they clip on and they hold the bulb in place oh so every oh, wow. bulb has a holder so across the front of the house where it's a gutter every bulb has a holder that's clipped onto the thing you, and it like holds the... it it holds it in a specific way all the way across all the gutters. You're the goddamn rain man of Christmas. When the gold. Christmas lights go up this year, come by the house when the lights are on, and I'll we'll, I'll show you what's going on. And you'll be like, and now I have to go to Wapner. <laughs> yeah, definitely 347 yeah, pairs if, of underwear. If the, if that one's not facing outward, then then the rhino comes and he breaks my lights. The C nines. <laughs> LEDs well, we are just, not bright enough. They're we love not bright the enough. we love that classic look of the C nines. I think they just they just look classic. I I do, I love it too. Yeah. Uh, and you know, like I said, I kicked around like, well, you, when we were looking like the C nines because I, there is something inherently festive and Christmas mm-hmm. about that size of a bulb yeah. and the multicolored. Oh yeah. Like it, it's just ah, it's old school. It is. Yeah. Uh, I like the icicles too. Yeah. The uh the icicles are just like a way for me I think to feel like fakey winter. I love the snow. I love the idea and the concept and the warm feeling of a white Christmas. Yeah. The icicles fake that a bit. Yeah, they do. But there is something uh special and unique and also warm about the multicolored C9 size bulb of a Christmas light. Yeah. Uh, I like all Christmas. I love Christmas trees. I love de- multicolored lights on the Christmas tree. I think just a plain white cri- light Christmas tree is pretty. But there is something from like being a kid mm-hmm. that's like almost instantly triggered by the big bulb multicoloredness. I mean, that's not what we have. And I love like the the programmed yeah. stuff too. Yeah. Like the... Oh the yeah. The dancing light shows. I'm like, fucking that's those are tricks. Oh yeah. I love watching those. Yeah, those are fun. Not my bag. Uh-huh. And I, I don't have that kind of capital to or invest time. to do that the right way. Right. Because my roof alley is probably clogged and so I've got shit other shit to be doing on my roof. <laughs> Plus your drain needs to be fixed. And my drain needs to be fixed. Uh and you got a paper towel. But those are tricks too. Yeah. Those are trick. Yeah, those are cool. Uh uh, there was a, I think I posted it in one of our hangouts. It was the, the one, it was a Halloween decoration yes, thing. Yes, that was, was Halloween. really, yeah. that was another one of those Christmas light kind of things, but for Halloween, it was really cool. I think they did, mm-hmm. was it? Like the whole trick or treating thing is, that's why it's like cool. I I, don't, I enjoy, that's like one of those things I, it's probably, the kids need to probably get a little bit older. So it's, they're a little bit more. A little bit more. I say they're pretty damn close to autonomous at this point. But where uh, I would love to do like the whole, I love the whole roof line outlined in lights. And so, you know, pretty much like a silhouette. So the big shapes, roof lined walls, you know, the upper roof valleys things. I would love to do that. I think those, that looks cool too. Up on, way up there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Clark inflatable. Sh- over yeah. Here. yeah. 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 I, yeah. You know, I checked them one all, year. Man. Yeah. Fucking put this on the bottom of the disc. It's good to go. I've got I got a laundry to do. That's what your kids be telling you. Yeah. I got anything else to we're, do? We're close. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> wow. It's festive. And I spent both the times of the weekend, I lit a fire in the fire pit while I worked outside because I was like, fuck yeah. Yeah. Why not? Uh, we've, like, we've been seriously enjoying the fire pit. Yeah. You know, we don't use it a, a ton, but it's like, yeah, let's just uh, go back. So do you, now that it's been raining, do you cover it? With something or um, is there enough of a drain that it doesn't bother it's got it? weep holes in the pan yeah um but i do want to get a cover for it i just haven't bought one i would yet. say probably just to protect the longevity of the element itself it well what it is is actually uh pro- yeah i would imagine that you would you would definitely protect that but um the thing itself is actually like a uh, tubing with holes in it yeah that's what i'm saying dick yeah but uh, unless it's like stainless but you'd it's stainless. Still, you'd still want to I think. keep it covered. Pretty for, sure it's stainless. I mean, it's, it's like a Chinese alloy. Then you're like a any other barbecue. You'll get yeah a couple seasons out of it unless you cover it. I need to uh, find a cover. I did some research on it before, but finding, because we have a, you know, it's all custom pit. How size. big is the dip? Um, oh, the, the, you mean the fire yeah. element? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I meant like your glass ring. The ring itself? Yeah. I think it's, uh, what was it, 18 inch? So if you got, I mean, push comes to shove, if you just went and got like a garbage can lid, <clears throat> you could probably have a workaround really fast? Um, probably. I'm just trying to think if that would fit it or not. What I want is uh, something that will just cover the rocks and the, the, like, oh. the whole thing. Oh. Just like, uh, like a barbecue grill kind of cover. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe, uh piece of plywood that I cut out or something to put on top so that it holds it up mm-hmm. and then uh, um, like a cover that would fit on top of it. That's what I'm kind of thinking in my mind mm-hmm. or even something like a, put a ball inside it so it holds the cover up so the rain comes off, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Yeah. So, uh, But I haven't really found what I was looking for because also I need to measure the circle and make sure I get something that will fit the circle. Just having to taking the time to do it yet the circumference of whatever that is yeah, do it before your sink breaks <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah oh i got a quick one really fast yeah so we went to the grocery store on sunday yeah we pull in the parking lot and there's a lady who's just finishing uh-huh. unloading her groceries uh-huh. and she closes the door and she grabs the handle of her cart uh-huh. and she struggles for a bit, uh-huh. and we're kind of like Venus and I are watching her, like, "What's going on?" She's here? at the back of her car. Yeah, the back of her car with okay. the cart, and she's struggling to like do something with the cart, uh-huh. and it's to pop it up so that she can rest the front wheels on the island and not return it, and not return it. And so we watch her complete the process uh-huh. of her putting the cart, you know, on the island, uh-huh. and then as she turns around back to walk back to her car. And you're both giving her the stink. Oh, we, oh yeah. (laughs) Fucking, it was heavy stink, dude. (laughs) She looks down and she picks up a coin. Uh I'm going to presume it was a penny. Uh And like, huh. And then puts it in her pocket and then gets in the car. And, you know, uh, yeah, she hadn't driven away before I had walked behind and just grabbed the cart and then wheeled it into Uh the thing. Like, what makes you think that the universe is going to give you good luck from picking up that fucking penny <laughs> after fucking schlepping your cart onto the island? Like, no, 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 not this day, not this day. Mm. So I made good. I returned two carts. Nice. We tried to while do- watching someone actually not return a cart. Yeah, Th- there's a cart guy, a shame cart shaming guy that does. That's what he does. Is he shames people on the internet? He'll actually go up. Why didn't you return your car to get in their face with this phone? No. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what. Is he in an open carry state? I don't know. Maybe. I hope not. I don't I, there was one I saw where he actually got in some guy's face about not returning the car. And he goes, oh, you're the cart return guy? Yeah, I'm sorry. And he like pushed it back. He like totally knew who the dude was. It was funny as shit. Yeah. Yeah. I saw someone with a mask that said, 
it goes over your nose. It's just written on the mask. Oh, that's funny. And I thought, man, I just need one that has return the cart. Oh, yeah. So that way when I go to the grocery store, you know. I know a place. Yeah. Where we can have those. Return the cart. Made. Return the cart. I need one of those. We have a hashtag wear the mask. We can do a hashtag return the cart. Let's do it. All right. We'll Put see it that. on our Teespring. You'll see that on our Teespring soon. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. We appreciate it. Don't forget to return the cart. Wash your hands. Wash your ass. <laughs> Register to vote. Dead air. <laughs> Dead air. <laughs> Is that I, I I feel like there was another one besides that, but I can't remember now. Yeah. If you're in Georgia, register to vote. <laughs> <laughs> Again. It can't. Yeah. Just keep voting. With your dead aunt. Just keep voting. All right. All right. We'll catch you next week. Take it easy. Bye.